So this is the real beginning to our poker game that we're going to create, and we're actually going to model it after Texas Hold'em. So one of the first things we need to create is, uh, besides the card in the deck, uh, which are kind of independent of this, but we're going to use it in this project, is going to be the player, which is going to be specific to our Texas Hold'em game. In our player class or object, we're going to have their name, their balance, so like their chips, how much they have that they can bet, and their winnings and that kind of stuff. And then the whole cards that they have, which are the two cards dealt out to each player uh, for them to play with. Now our game is going to create different players, and we want to be able to set them up with their constructor. And so we're going to set their name, what their starting balance is, and then their whole cards. We also want to determine if they're in the game, and by default they will start off uh, setting is in game true, and the, the reason we want to have this is if they fold, we want to be able to pull them out of the game, but not delete the player. So now that we have made the global variables private, we want to be able to handle how to get and or set them. So we're going to make some getters for all of the variables. However, we only want to manipulate the data in some of them. So the balance will have a getter, but then also we will be able to increase and decrease it by a specific amount. And then uh, name and standard card, we'll just be able to get them so we can display them and, and do some calculations on them. Is in game is going to be used uh, to have the player be able to fold, but then still have that player in the list of players. And so we want to still determine if they're in the game, but we also want to bring them in and out of the game for the different rounds. The two string would be really nice so that we can show what the status of each player is whenever we want to display that without having to parse that out every time from the game object. So we can say the player's name, the balance, display their whole cards, and then let them know if they're still in the game or if they folded.
as we test it out a little bit, we can just verify that everything is working as we expect it to. So we'll make an instance of our player. We'll give it some whole cards. And now we can test our different methods. Name works, our get balance works, adding to our balance works. We are obviously showing that we have a object encoding being shown, so we need to change that. We now show the cards, and we'll do a little refactoring up in our two string. I realized that we didn't have the ability to reset um, or set new whole cards uh, beyond initialization when you create a player. And so we want to go in and add a method that will allow us to set new whole cards so that the same player can play multiple rounds and they don't have to worry about creating a new player instance. 